welcome to the special, special edition of Startup Street. I'm Arundhati Ramanen. And ahead of Women's Day on Friday, we decided to put the spotlight on women entrepreneurs who are creating waves in the startup world. First up, let's go across to my colleague, Shruti Mishra, who has a panel of women entrepreneurs with her. On our Women's Day special, we now put the spotlight on the Momspreneur Show, launched by leading D2C mother and baby brand, The Moms Co. It is an in-market reality show aimed at uncovering India's top mom-led startups. And to talk to us about their experiences and their businesses, joining me now are the three winners, Pooja Goswami, director Ramjad Gino Sensor, Jyoti Bhardwaj, she's the founder of TFIT, and Sonali Sarogi Singh, the founder and CEO of Feed Smart. And to tell us how the Mompreneur Show is empowering and mentoring more micro entrepreneurs from all corners of the country. Also joining us is Naya Sagi, the group co founder of Good Glam Group and the CEO of Good Community. Ladies, welcome to Startup Street. Now, before I talk to the winners and know more about the ventures, Naya, if you could quickly talk to us about the kind of impact the Mompreneur Show has created. Also, what is the big idea, the larger pain point that you're trying to solve? Sure, Shruti. What a pleasure to be here. Uh, we launched the Mompreneur Show exactly six months back. Mm. Uh, and it's been quite a ride. Um, you know, the, the show was launched with the whole premise of, you know, the Moms Co is in, in service of for every mom through every change. And, you know, when we launched it, what we realized was that 73% of women actually drop out of the workforce after they become mothers. Hmm. And entrepreneurship for them is actually the most tenable career option because it affords them flexibility with financial freedom. Uh, but in doing so, when we were looking for platforms at scale that were supporting mompreneurs at scale, we weren't finding any. Right. And that was the genesis of the Momspreneur show by the Moms Co. In the last six months, Shruti, I'm super thrilled to tell you, we've actually discovered and had more than one lakh mompreneurs from all across India register on the Momspreneur platform. So it's been a very, it's been a process, I would say, of two outcomes in general. One is that we have created Asia's largest platform to support mom entrepreneurs at scale. Number two, we've been able to create and bring to public attention these stories of inspiration that are now setting aspiration for other mompreneurs to look to and aspire to. Naya, let me now quickly get to the winners. Pooja, first tell us how was your experience and then if you could also give us a sense of what uh, Ramja Gino Sensor does. Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot for this question. Being in this journey, being in the Mompreneur show is itself a very different and unique uh, experience where we have discussed our issues and I always wanted to be the part of uh, these kind of places and platforms where I can just uh, inspire other women mm. so that uh, they can also continue this process, their process, their, their experience. Ramja is uh, basically doing a solution work, solution for the society. Here we are giving the results of infraction and antimicrobial resistance in just 90 minutes. So right now in country, word over the results of infraction, for example, UTI, sepsis, you need to wait for 72 hours. And these are creating antimicrobial resistance and leading towards the death. It is a very, very big global threat. So we are actually working on this solution. Jyoti, you dream of making TFIT available everywhere there is a bottle of cola. Tell us how and what is it that TFIT offers? First of all, thank you so much to you and Naya for uh, creating this platform for uh, uh, mom entrepreneurs. So uh, TFIT is an unsweetened beverage brand. We make our beverages from uh, real teas and spice blends and uh, Ayurvedic herb blends. Uh, the proprietary formulation ensures that there are no calories or sugar or uh, any uh, alternative sweetness in our beverages. It's my dream to make a uh, tea fit available everywhere a can of cola is or a can of energy drink is. And I am more than confident that that's what uh, Indian consumers have been looking for. And more than that, that's what they truly, truly deserve. All right, coming to you now, Sonali, you started... Feed Smart with a goal to feed India with a cleaner and healthier version of ready-to-eat and, of course, condiments that we regularly consume. Elaborate more on that. Hi, again, thank you so much. It's a great platform and um, uh, very happy to be here. So, you know, I've spent about the, over 13 years now in f and um, and I've also uh, had a very volatile relationship with uh, food myself as a big consumer. Um, so I feel that uh, you know, the foundations of nutrition are formed at very young ages, right? At a very, very nascent stage, uh, kids start to develop habits uh, that is flown from the top from their parents and what they are exposed to at school and other um, events. So to be able to build a strong nutritional foundation, we cannot take away the joy 
of eating um, uh, products like ketchup and chocolate, right? We just have to give them uh, products that they absolutely love to eat mm. and that are healthier and 100% clean. And that's uh, the mission that we're on. Uh, it was lovely hearing all of your ventures and the business ideas and the business models that you've created. Naya, coming back to you, while the three winners have got the financial aid they were looking for, what happens next? Do you continue to handhold them? And is this just the beginning? Will you be looking at launching season two of the Mompreneur Show soon? And how do you plan to empower women entrepreneurs? So, Shruti, I don't think any of these winners need handholding at all. As you can see, they're amazing in their own way. I think what we've been able to do is create a platform for them to amplify the mission hmm. that they're on. Um, and, you know, in service of that, we have given them both cash as well as media grants, plus access to some top investors who really are in service of women-led startups, right? So I think that's been the premise of the entire piece. The second thing we've done, of course, is given them access to top mom leaders as well and mom entrepreneurs. Um, going forward, what's in store for the Mompreneur show? I mean, the first season has just been, I think, incredible, right? I mentioned more than one lakh registration. So the need was latent. The need was there. Uh, what we're going to be do, doing is definitely having more seasons of this in India. But the plan is also to take this platform internationally. And okay. we'll probably be launching in the GCC very soon as well. Because what we're finding there again is mm. a whole po cohort of moms who are entrepreneurs who are finding their voice and finding their ambitions. All right. On that note, it's time for me to wrap up our conversation. Uh, Pooja, Jyoti, Sonali, once again, many congratulations and wish you the very best for your future. Uh, Naya, many thanks for jo uh, joining us today here. It's an absolute pleasure talking to you. Thank you so much. Thanks, Shruti. Thanks for having us. And moving on, Avatar.